This is the video abstract for the paper Critical Phenomena of the Order Disorder Transition in Incompressible Active Fluids by Chu Fen Li, Li Ming Chen, and John Toner. I'm going to start by defining the terms in the title. An active fluid is a fluid that's composed of self propelled entities. Those can be either birds in a flock, fish in a school, uh, bacteria in a bacteria swarm, or molecular motors inside a single living cell. All of those things are active fluids, and all active fluids can undergo what's known as an order-disorder transition. This is very simply a transition in which you go from a state in which all of the self-propelled entities are moving in the same direction, and so there's a non-zero average velocity, that's the ordered state, to a state in which the self-propelled entities are moving in random directions, so the average velocity is zero, and that's the disordered state. People have attempted to study this transition in active fluids before, the difficulty has always been that compressible active fluids always, as you tune a parameter to take you from the ordered state to the disordered state, first encounter a so-called banding instability, in which the active fluid breaks up into high-density bands separated by low-density regions. To suppress that, my co-authors and I considered a state where the density was forced to be constant. That's the incompressibility condition. By making the active fluid incompressible, we were able to make this transition continuous. And we discovered that like equilibrium phase transitions, this continuous transition exhibited the phenomenon known as universality. And as an illustration of universality, one can consider the average velocity of the active fluid. And what one observes is that as you tune the parameter that takes you from the ordered state to the disordered state, the average velocity goes continuously to zero, and the shape of this curve is universal. In fact, the shape is given by a simple power law. The average velocity goes to zero like the distance from the point at which it vanishes to a power beta, and this exponent beta is universal. That is, it's the same for all active fluids.